Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle and today I have a ton of empties. I just filled up one of my Ipsy bag with all my empties for about a month now. And I thought today would be a great video to, to do, or a great day to do a video on empties. Oh my goodness, I cannot speak. So the first I have are some makeup wipes that I did try. These are the Appeal, I wanna say, Argan Oil Cleansing Tissues. These were okay. I felt like I had to use more than what I have to do of my typical Equate ones. With this, I can get quite a bit off with just one wipe. This, I had to use several to get any makeup off. So I don't think I will be repurchasing these. Um, I think I'm going to stick with my Equate Beauty ones that I really like. So these are going to just not make a reappearance in my life. The next thing are my cotton balls, the 100% pure cotton balls, 200 count. So I've had these for quite a while, as you can imagine. I use these um, to take with my eye makeup remover to take off my eye makeup or to get nail polish off my nails when I do paint them. I don't really paint my nails anymore, so these lasted quite a while just using them for my eye makeup. The next thing I have is the Herbaviva, however you say that, it is their shaping oil. This is phase one. I got this with my points from Ipsy. Um, it's with organic essential oils of grapefruit, pink pepper, and ginger. This did absolutely nothing. I don't feel like it helped me stop retaining water. I don't feel like any of the claims on here actually worked. I just like the smell of the oil, um, so it was kind of nice. It did, um, I will say, give me kind of like nice skin, but as far as what it's supposed to do, it's invigorating properties come together to help alleviate water retention and promote the appearance of tighter, smoother skin. And not really, not really. And this is one that you can use like all over your body and I tried it in different areas and didn't really notice a difference. So would not purchase. The next thing is from Not Your Mother's Beach Babe Soft Wave Sea Salt Spray. If you don't know, my hair does have quite a bit of wave in it when I do let it just dry, like air dry. Um, so I was sent this for my very first influencer box box and I finally used it up. I basically used it to really see if it did anything to my hair and all I can say that it did is it made my hair feel very crunchy and dry. And I already have kind of dry hair, um, that's probably because I do color it, but I didn't really, I don't like this. I like the way it helped style my hair, I don't like what it did to my hair. So this is not something that I would purchase. The next thing is Pure Bliss Makeup Setting Spray. This is an organic tea extract kind of spray. I actually really like this one. I was kind of impressed with it. And I will say that um, it did work pretty well. I don't think it really extended the life of my makeup. I just like the way it made my makeup kind of meld together. But as far as like extending the life, I don't really think most setting sprays do that for me. Um, but I like the way this one felt on my skin and I would definitely repurchase this. I also got it off of Amazon, just in case you're curious where you can pick it up. The next thing was from my last Sephora play. It's the Bumble and Bumble Don't Blow It um, for Fine Hair Styler. Um, I just finished using this up today. I use it when I blow dry my hair and uh, I don't know. I don't really like putting a lot of stuff in my hair because my hair gets greasy quickly. It's dry down here, greasy up here. It's a whole hot mess, my hair is. So I don't really like this because I feel like it made my hair greasy faster even when I put it not in my roots. So not really something I was impressed with. Next. The next thing is I reach for this all the time. This is kind of my go-to mascara and has been forever. I think I started using it because my mom start, was using my mom was using it while I was in high school. It's the Maybelline Great Lash, big, very black, intense mascara, and I like this. I just used it up, so there's 
I mean, there's still stuff in there, but it was time to go. I mean, it looks disgusting. So I will probably be picking up another one of these in the near future just because it is one of my favorite go-to mascaras. Next is the Tarte Tarte Guard. Um, this was the moisturizer that I got in my Sephora Play that I used. Um, it's a tinted moisturizer with 20 SPF in it. I liked the, what it did for my skin and I'm curious to actually go and look to see um, if I can find a slightly darker shade in this um, just because for like no makeup days I could totally wear this on my skin um, by itself. I like the way it felt on my skin. I just the color is a little too light for me. That's my only critique with this but I did like it and I will maybe purchase it. It depends. Tarte's pretty expensive, so we'll see. The next thing is the Theory Marula Oil Transforming Hair Serum. I got this in either a Sephora Play or an Ipsy bag and I really liked it. I really liked it to put it on my ends and it helped keep my hair from being super frizzy. So I am kind of curious to go and see how much this is. I'm sure it is expensive for a full bottle. This little bottle lasted me a month and a half just because I needed very little just to cover my ends. So would purchase this. Yep, I think next I'm going to do a bunch of face masks. Um, I like sheet masks a lot and these two were sent to me in Ipsy bags. This is the green tea one that they sent and then the aloe, I think it's Bio Republic. I like these masks. Um, I generally do a sheet mask at least once a week, sometimes twice. It just depends on how I'm feeling. I like to do them because it relaxes me and I like what they do for my skin. Most sheet masks. I usually do the Tony Moly ones and I really like those a lot. Next, these were kind of masks that I was trying out. They're from Freeman, yeah, Freeman and then Seventh Heaven. So this, I have another one and I probably will use it just to use it or I might pass it along. I don't feel like it did anything for my skin. It took forever to dry and when I peeled it off, it did absolutely nothing to my skin. So I will not be repurchasing this. I really enjoyed this one. It's the clay mask cleanser. It's um, with honey and tea tree oil and I really like what this one did to my skin. I also really like the smell of this mask and you can get these masks at Walmart. This one is the cleansing mud mask and I like this too because it reminded me of a Garnier one that I used to use. Um, I just like that it um, kind of, I don't know, really help cleanse my skin and get some nasties off of it. It is for normal to combo skin, by the way, as well. And this one's for oily and breakout skin. I used this one because I did have a recent breakout. Um, so it worked. It helped clear it up. I recommend it, and I recommend this one. Next, this is one of my favorite masks from Tony Moly. It is the clear skin one. Um, I really like these masks a lot. This one helps, um, I usually use this one right before my period starts just because it does kind of, that's when I break out. And so I use this and it does help keep a ton of breakout at bay. I also use a whole bunch of other ones for Tony Moly. I kind of pick a few here and there and then I use them throughout the month. But this one's always um, going to be one that I'm going to use because I really do feel that it has benefits to my skin. The next thing, this was sent to me when I did my Ulta haul. I got this, it's the, I don't even know what brand it is, but it's one of their facial oils. I do not like this. I think this is where I got this guy from. Do not like it, do not like it, do not like it. So I will not be purchasing a full size of this. Kinda glad it was a foil packet, although being a foil packet, it was a mess. The next thing I have in here is a really old brush that I've decided to get rid of. I mean, this thing is old. It needs to go, so it's gone. The next thing I have is a sample of the Glam Glow um, Glam Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer. I really like this sample. 
I wish Glam Glow was not so expensive because this is a very nice moisturizer. Um, I got this in a Sephora Play and it took me a couple months to use it up just because I didn't want to use it every day. I didn't want to use it all, but I do like what this did for my skin and want to purchase it. The next is the Believe Hungarian Water Essence. I absolutely love this stuff. I like what how it, hydrating it was for my skin. I like how light it was on my skin. I like how my skin absorbed it right away so it didn't leave a sticky mess. Um, and this took me, I would say, three weeks to use up because I did use it every day and I loved it. And I want to purchase this. And this was from a Sephora play. Next is my e.l.f. Sheer um, Eye Setting Powder. I need another one of these. It is empty. I really like this for setting under my eyes. Um, currently, I've been using just their loose powder, but definitely want to get another one of these because I do like what it did for my skin. I actually take the um, sifter out. I do not like the sifter for this. I like to be able to get the tip of my beauty, or beauty blender, beauty sponge in there so that I can go right under my eyes. And this is the last product and I definitely will be repurchasing this. Thank you guys so much for watching my channel today. I hope you have a great day. Thank you again and bye!